Hello everyone, I'm going to do an unboxing and review about the Micho exclusive American Diorama 164 skill Overland Diorama, or you can say Off-Road Diorama. Uh, here we got the barcode article number. Not an interesting box. Uh, I do have the other dioramas from American Diorama and they come in a much nicer uh, package. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, open this up and see what's inside there we go back to the phone I have to do it like this no okay then we're also going to open the other side so we can push it out. Okay, push it. Um, let's see, okay, it's upside down, this is the good side, uh, and here we got the background, which can also be handy for, uh, yeah, other dioramas you have, see there is some water, some trees, okay, um, this out and do it like this and you see it also comes with some trees and here we have the diorama let's take a closer look so we got a river and we got some mud, some green on the side, and you see the holes where you have to put the trees in. And here are some bricks with some trees. So we also see some uh, tires, some tracks right here. Okay, let's uh, get the trees out of the package. See if we can give them uh, a good place. Four trees in total. And I think you have to decide where to put the trees. So we can put one right here. You can push them all the way down. So you do, don't see anything of the... Let's put some light on, that's better, right? Yes. Don't see anything of this. Um, okay, this one. Put right here. Pretty strong trees, by the way. And they also look uh, very good. Not bad at all. Like that, and then we got the other one right here. And then, of course, uh, the background, um, which I think, so it has to be uh, like this, but I think it's best if you put it against a wall and then uh, you put the background behind it. Can't do it like this, but okay, we'll try. I have to bend it a little bit. So we bend it. Hope it works. Put the diorama like this. I still think you need something behind it. Yep, definitely. Right. 
that is not heavy enough. Well, I have this right here. Let me do it like this. That is heavy enough. Okay, first looks, first look. I think it looks uh, really great. I like that. Uh, for ready out of the box, and this is a real American diorama style. If you see the other dioramas from American Diorama, you will know what I mean. Okay, um, next thing we have to do, put some cars on it and some figures and uh, make it complete. Bring it to life. So I have a car right here. This one is from Johnny Lightning and I still regret I didn't buy two because this is a fantastic model. A uh, little bit of a rusty Gulf version. See the brand Johnny Lightning, also a Mijo exclusive limited one of 4800, but I can tell you it is very hard to get already. And I don't have it that long. Okay, uh, let's see. So here it is, comes with some accessories on the roof and got a nice tire right here. The spare tire in the back is also a rubber tire. Muddy wheels, perfect for this diorama. Some rusty, no side mirrors unfortunately, like we used to from Johnny Lightning and also Greenlight and many other brands by the way. Okay, let's put it right here. Already looks a lot better, right? Let's do it like this. And then I have some uh, figures. I put them in this box. This is really handy to put your 164 figures in. Did a video about it. You can look it up, how I storage my 164 figures. So, here I've got one figure, and let's figure out where to put it. Then I have uh, this one right here, also a good one, I can put it right here. And I also have this one. These are also, by the way, from American Diorama. And I believe they came out of this package. Yep, there we have the guy. I bought uh, two because I really like uh, these figures. Off-Road Adventure. This is the first one, the first edition. And I also have the second edition. We will open this uh, right away. First, we're going to put uh, these figures somewhere. Um, yeah. Oh, here's that. Uh, then I had another one. This one. Um, ah, yeah, that's uh. A little bit of a downside maybe uh, I can do this better off-screen focus thank you and I also have some with a shovel or something but maybe I can put this other one right here because I have another car Okay, we put this one uh, right here because I have another car and this is uh, a custom. This one is really cool. I bought this one from a seller on uh, Instagram, Camel Trophy. I think it is from BM Creations. Yes, it is. I still have to get the original one because uh, I've ordered that one at Tom's but still haven't got it. But this seller uh, already got the original one. I made a beautiful custom with it. I'm really happy. And 
Yes, um, obvious, very logical. Uh, he sells them. Not cheap, I can tell you. But I think it's a lot of work. These are opening doors, by the way, but I'm not going to open them. Too afraid that I'm uh, scratching the paint. Um, the original version had a tent on top of it, and I said, mm, don't like it, can you take that off? This is also, let's switch to another camera for a better close-up. This is also really cool. I like that rucksack in the back here. That looks really cool. And all the mud, it is really well done. Uh, of course, I will leave a link in the description of this video where you can buy this. It's a link to his Instagram account. And uh, there are a lot of more models. He is, I think every day he uh, he's uploading a new photo with a model that he sells. Sometimes multi multiple uh, photos a day. Nice, I like this diorama already. Um, yes, uh, do I have more figures? Yes, I do. So, um, well, let's do it like this. I'm going to put all the figures in the diorama and then I'm back and uh, showing you the results. Back in a sec. Okay, so here we got the results. I put all the figures in the diorama. And I really have to say, I like this diorama a lot. It looks really cool. And for ready out of the box, you can't complain. Put the camera guy here on the left. It's perfect for off-road cars. And next thing we do is going to give it a good place in the display cabinet or somewhere in my diecast room and also have a look to the other American dioramas. Back in a sec. So I placed the diorama here in the closet. Awesome! Such a cool diorama. Oh, by the way, I have a new helicopter in the collection. This is from Gorgi. And I really like this uh, camouflage. It's a limited edition. That is what we like. Moving parts, opening parts. <laughs> and we also have pilots inside. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe I will do a review of it, who knows. Okay, so here I've got my other American dioramas. This is the old garage. One of my favorites. Uh, yeah, really cool looking. You can see. Oh, I knocked over a paramedic figure. Mm. Ooh, this motorcycle is also really cool. It's made of resin, made out of resin, but it is in a 164 scale, and the details are great. Uh, put it right here. Ooh. Tire rack over there with some tires from uh, Tarmac. These are M2 models. Figures are also from American Diorama. There in the back is a motorcycle from a race metal. Really cool diorama. Okay, so here I've got the Route 66 diorama. Also very nice, but uh, no background. So that is not so handy for making photos, but it is still very cool to uh, display your cars. Bumpy road, by the way. And here we got, uh, not sure what the name is, how fun is the uh, trail, trail diorama off-road, something like that. Uh, I've used some uh, 172 figures and Humphies, but uh, it's also made for 164. And those are the dioramas I have from American Diorama. I think uh, American Diorama doesn't have any more. I don't know for sure. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this uh, very cool off-road diorama. 
And uh, I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video with your Digest friends. Have a nice day. Bye.